hey y'all i am back with another lock talk video so if you're new please make sure you subscribe hit the bell turn the post notifications on so you don't miss any more of my uploads and welcome so i'm gonna be talking about reasons that your retwist might not be lasting this was an issue that i had beforehand and so i've kind of figured out some of what the problem was Stay tuned if you want some tips on how to get your retwist to last longer because initially you don't want to keep going back and getting it retwisted over and over in a short amount of time, like doing it too much or like overdoing it. So yeah. I would say not wrapping it at night like I know you have your times where you just dog tired you just want to get into bed but you gotta find the strength you gotta find the strength to get up and put that silk scarf on or put that bonnet on it does make a difference because if you think about it even if you're not one of the roughest sleepers, like you still rolling around, your hair is free. So the more that your hair moves, you know, it's gonna kind of unravel more and more. So utilizing your bonnets and your scarf is one of the keys to your retwist lasting longer. You might not think it makes a difference, but it does. So next, would be not doing too much strenuous activity or anything that's gonna cause you to sweat a lot. Because of course, with most people, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but with most people, once that moisture hits your hair or your roots, like your retwist is, is done. You know, it's gonna start unraveling at the root. So try not to do a lot of strenuous activity or stuff that's gonna cause you to sweat. Next is not wearing a style. I almost never get my hair done and do not get a style. That is the main key to why my retwist lasts as long as possible. I try to get a style because number one, um, I do get kind of tired of my hair just being down and on my face and my neck and stuff. So I'll get it styled. And then number two, by you having it styled, a lot of times you'll be able to take it down and it leaves a nice curly or a wavy effect. So it's kind of like a two in one. And then simultaneously, you're preserving your roots by it staying in a style. So that when you take it down it has a little more time before it starts to get old and starts unraveling so i would definitely suggest getting a style even if it's nothing but um the two strand three strand or four strand twist i that was my go-to when i had longer hair because it was the quickest and the most simple and if it was summertime i really could finesse sitting under the dryer like i mainly would focus on my roots but yeah, so try to get a style when you get your hair retwisted and maintenance so that your retwist can last longer. The next tip would be protecting your hair in the shower. That goes back to what I said about um, water and moisture getting in your hair. If you're not protecting it in the shower, of course, you're letting all that steam and water and stuff just get in it. And then it's like loosening up whatever product you might have on your roots that they use or you use. And so, you know, of course, once it starts loosening up, it's on its way to unraveling. So protecting your hair in the shower is definitely gonna help with preserving your retwist for as long as possible. So last but not least, playing in it and touching it. I'm not gonna lie, I play in my locks a lot. I might catch myself some time and I'm like admiring them but you have to try not to do that so much because again, like the more your hair moves and you're moving around, you know, the more it's likely to start unraveling at the root. So like if you're moisturizing your hair, I try to do mine once a week. So like oil, moisturize, let it be. Um, 
if I just took down a style, most of the time I'll try to either put it like a half up, half down or a ponytail and leave it alone for however many days, like three, four days, and then try something else, leave it alone for three, four days. So if that makes sense, that's pretty much how I would do that so that I'm not risking um, helping, helping, helping my retwist to unravel. Those are my quick tips on how to get your retwist to last as long as possible. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all want more lock talk, let me know what you would like me to talk about and I'll get it done for you. So thank you for watching. See y'all in the next video.